Oh, I think I'm there now. I gotta check and see. I think we got Bob Talk going here tonight. I'm gonna get my Facebook coming up on my phone here. And we'll see that we can get Bob Talk going here. As you see, I'm back. The girls had it last month. Uh, well, I should say the girls and Ethan, um, Sarah and Laura and Ethan, I think we're the three, Miss and Alicia. But um, now I'm trying to get to the other page so I can switch over and be watching and monitoring um, the Sandry Fire page somehow. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. so this, this month, don't have a lot to talk about. Probably do have a lot to talk about. But uh, FDIC, the end of the month, we got FDIC coming. Um, we were going to throw Brad under the bus here tonight, and he was going to talk about FDIC. Uh, I had an appointment that I was going to be at, which changed. So um, here Bob is tonight, uh, sitting at home with the boss lady. She's off on my left here. Um, she's not even going to poke her head in here because <laughs> she's laughing at me. But FDIC in Indianapolis, the end of April coming up here. Uh, so we're going to try and uh, prepare our Sandry Fire crew. We've got a bunch heading out there uh, to FDIC Indianapolis. Uh, we kind of split our group. There's about 20 of us, so we split them in thirds. So we'll get everybody out there every three years. Uh, it's too big a group to, we, to try and corral, kind of like herding cats, they say. But um, so FDIC, a lot of things going on, I believe. Uh, a little bit of a different arrangements if anybody's gone or is going out and took the time to look at the floor uh, plan for the vendors. Um, I'm not sure if the stadium has kind of lost the interest of everybody going down there, but Pierce obviously moved into the big convention center, so that kind of threw a lit loop on everybody, I think. But it's, it's a good time. It's a good networking time to get out there and meet uh, people from the different fire, EMS, and even law enforcement side of things so you can network meet some great people talk some fire stories that we like to talk maybe even in bob's world uh most firefighters do like to hunt too and that's kind of where, where my stories end up is is hunting but uh yeah we're, we're gonna try and have a bunch of people out there and see if uh we can't see what's new for 2023 and 2024 coming here i think there's a lot of shake up in the fire industry of head to toe, uh, new standards coming out in 24, 25, something like that, 26 maybe, who knows, uh, head to toe firefighting equipment. Um, we'll, we'll see uh, from helmets to coat to hood to boots to SCBAs all, all under one standard. We're, we're not sure where it's gonna go. So we'll see, we'll see where that ends up and how, how they incorporate all that into the fire service after 35 plus years, we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it's interesting, but uh, no. We also, I'm gonna bring up a, a little thing for the Charlotte Fire Department here in Clinton County. Um, they uh, got five other departments involved, I believe. I'll make sure I get this right so I don't I don't miss somebody. Charlotte, DeWitt, Lomore, Comanche, Andover, Goose Lake. Um, the Those departments are gonna be uh, ATV stop, Starting up, obviously, in Charlotte, come down to DeWitt, over to Lomore, into Comanche, up to Andover, uh, over to Goose Lake, and then back into Charlotte. But what I'm looking down at here is uh, giveaway raffle tickets for uh, a Polaris Ranger 1000 North Star. Um, all the fire departments, those six fire departments that I named off, one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! My, I was had to make sure my count was right. Um, are all participating in selling the raffle tickets? It's one opportunity to win this North Star for twenty dollars, or six for a hundred. Um, you can catch anybody at the Wit Fire Department, um, at Lowmore Fire Department, at Command Fire Department, Andover Fire Department, Goose Lake, and the special ones of the night are Charlotte. So. Reach out to any one of those fire departments, get your raffle tickets. Uh, they're gonna pull the raffle, I believe the morning of the 15th as the side-by-side -side ride starts. Uh, what day? 
It is July 15th. The boss lady sitting at the side there. July 15th. At Start up at Charlotte. Come down to do it here. ATV ride. ATV ride. Or you can bring a Jeep. Or you can bring a motorcycle. Um, or your convertible. Uh, whatever you want to get out in that July 15th. It's the weekend before the fair here in Clinton County. So it's going to get a little crazy. Are we selling rides um, with us? Are we selling rides? Yeah, I think we'll take bids on who wants to ride with us today. Oh, now, now I got my people from the cheap seats in the side of me here. She wants to sell rides. Who who wants to ride with Bob or Bob and Mary on the Charlotte ride? Um, I probably have to pay people to ride with me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then she agrees with that. So, uh, but it is a good time. Uh, it's, it is a good time. The Charlotte bunch up there has done a great job. I believe this is the third year they've done this ride. Uh, third annual, so it says right at the top of the of the raffle ticket. Third annual, Charlotte first responder fire department ride. Um, raffle tickets, one for twenty, six for a hundred, hundred for six. I don't know how I said that one, but um, I said it right. I said it right or wrong, not sure, but uh, just kind of seeing what's out there tonight I'm because. The girl, the girls. Uh oh, we already got people wanting to ride shotgun. There you go. Ha! Huh. That's the boss's seat. I don't know if I could give that I, one I'd up. I'd give it up. She'd give it up. What? Mm -hmm. to, what would it cost them to give it up? Well, I, I might cost them a lot, but I'll give it up. It's the right price. I, I like the fact that she's not even on camera. <laughs> uh, she's off in those cheap seats. Uh, you didn't say you should. Well, we can. No, uh, it's my fine. laptop it's fine. is. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> See, there she is. So, just so you know, I'm not making it up. <laughs> I'm just harassing him from the sidelines. So yeah, but uh, it, it, you know, out there trying to have a, a good time and may raise some money for the fire departments in, in Clinton County. Uh, again, the Charlotte folks have done a good job, kind of coordinating with all the departments and splitting the county in half. And one year they go to the west, the next year they go to the east. Um, so it should be pretty exciting. Uh, see what see what happens uh, this year. So I got to see what what we got going on here. Convention scavenger hunt. Convention. Uh, uh oh, Corey. Corey and I probably should know where Corey's from. So Corey's obviously watching, and I apologize, um, not knowing where to put you. Uh, Bob and Mary sold their camper last fall here. October, I think it was. Sure. I think, was it before I left Doesn't the Yukon? Matter. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. matter. Um, September. Yeah. What's that? She's, the answer is Makokita. Oh, Makokita. Okay. All right. All right, Makokita. Geez. Um, Bob and Mary sold their camper. Uh, Bob and Mary also will not be at convention this year. We may pop in. You may see a Bob and Mary sighting. I may have to uh, come in for a day and play yeah, a game. We may have to come up with something for... Uh, they do a lot of things. I got an iPhone about six, four months ago, four months ago maybe. Um, found out they now have a tracker on me. So it's almost where's Bob, kind of like where's Waldo. Um, they, they like to do it. Oh, I, I think guess. that could be a fun game in itself. Yeah, where's, where's Bob at? So, but um, yeah, so still up in the air we may show up for the day or day and a half up at um iowa. iowa falls i believe iowa falls got it for a third year also yes they did. um so good for those folks that's a lot of work um you got to respect and appreciate the guys and gals at iowa falls that take that chore on um but good good for them and that, that's a good place to be it's kind of in the center of the state uh oh I'm she does in. she wants to she wants to I'm come coming in. in i have something to say uh oh she has something to say <laughs> watch out when mary's got something to say i know is it scary yeah. um yeah. i posted on facebook today on, on the standard fire webpage but also on the hero haven webpage that we are looking for um mental health providers who are interested in working with um local their local emergency responders just to support through any issues that might come up for them um, so we're doing a training on, y'all know it's going to test me, the last uh -oh. Friday in April. Um, last Friday, and, you're not even here. I know, it doesn't matter, it's online. For four mental health, licensed mental health therapists who are interested in working with emergency responders. We have um, um, Darcy Davis-Gage um, that is going to lead the program. And she's going basically 
teach people how or kind of talk about the uniqueness of working with emergency responders and um, the whole concept of kind of supporting them through whatever mental health needs they might come up with their service in their, to their community. So it's, it's going to be very interesting. So if anybody out there knows any mental health providers, and I've got a couple in the family that are going to get hit up to, to attend this, because it is a virtual event, so it's, it's a meeting that they can attend from anywhere. Friday morning, 9 to noon. Um, so if, if you know any mental health therapists, I would ask you to please share this information with them, because this is not necessarily an, an, an area of Facebook that they're typically going to find this information, so please, um, we need everybody to kind of reach out to their local people and, and help us make sure that we get invitations sent to anybody who might be interested. That answer that I, I, I didn't know you were even getting. On. I know I kind of forgot. She kind of forgot. She likes to jump in on my. Well, she's stealing my Bob time. I know. She, I, I enjoy having her around. I steal she, Bob time. She hates having it's me. Around. She hates Bob. having me around. I enjoy having her around. It's all about so, Bob. We all we are, know it. We, are we all know it. Figure that whole thing out yet in life, but uh, no, it's we enjoy this. It, it is it is kind of frustrating trying to get up to this point, and then when once we get on Bob talk, it, it becomes pretty easy because Bob can talk. Uh, I'm sure you. If anybody's looked back at some of our videos, you, Bob can talk. So <clears throat> I don't know. Anybody yeah. want to argue that point with him? Would no, anybody like to good, like give me an example where Bob didn't want to talk? There's yeah, that's probably not many, not many at all. But uh, you used to be quiet. I did. I met too many fire service people and EMS people and police people that, and I'm realizing a lot of them enjoy. Again, my crutch is hunting, and I love to talk hunting. Clearly, I, I, I enjoy that. I, I've been blessed to be able to do that because of what I have next to me on my left here. Um, I got to give her Whatever. all the credit. I got to give her all the credit. So. Uh, she deserves it, but yeah. <laughs> she's speaking, just sucking speaking up. of that, yeah, so you know, he's just sucking I'm up because, up because he's... she's not going to be at Indianapolis this year because we kind of promoted it that it'd be her last Indianapolis that she would have to go oh. to <laughs> because of retirement or not retirement. We, we're her and I are working on it's another chapter rather yeah. than people call. Anybody's retirement. got a better word yeah. than retirement because I'm most certainly not sitting still. Nope, nope. And you want a great life coach and what you're doing <laughs> with your life um, and where your life can go. I'm having fun with it. Talk to but that anyway. lady. Um, so it's pretty pretty awesome to watch her uh, help people understand. Talk. I talk. Huh. Actually, no, I listen more that. than I talk. Yes, that's true. <laughs> no, you guide. You help them understand. Um, so it's pretty, anyway, pretty cool. I've I'm, I'm uh, got a whole new chapter going, and, and I'm kind of enjoying not going to the office. So it is what it is. So if Ethan or Sarah or Laura or uh, uh, Alicia. Alicia, I always get Alicia lost somewhere in the mix you're hearing that she's not she's fewer and fewer times is she coming into the office i know so it, it, that that's good but that means then i gotta stay home too i didn't think that would go over well <laughs> but no uh no i can start out here first fdic is coming up if there's something out there that your department's considering wanting to look at we have one of our sales staff out there that's your area of product specialist um, give a shout out to them. Like I said, we, we Sandry Fires. We should play Where's go. Bob at FDIC. <sighs> Maybe anybody Maybe who finds you gets yeah. a prize. Brad Brad Pfeiffer, uh, kind of our team team coordinator, team leader, uh, said that when him and I were talking a little bit earlier. That he says you just bop from one door to the other to the other. How can you stand around and, and wait to talk to somebody because you're so busy? And I am. I, I got a bunch of people that I've got to know at Indianapolis. Uh, I got customers that come up and want to go to the TNT booth, want to go to the MSA booth, want to just talk to Bob, which I'm all open for talking. Uh, I won't make so. any comments about busy and productive. Uh, busy and productive are two different words, <laughs> and one of them doesn't even fit my vocabulary, <laughs> which is productivity. It, it doesn't exist, but uh, I'm okay. So Thursday night, is it Thursday night is the MSA social thing? Or no, it's a, what I for, for for the distributors or for the customers? The customers. That is normally on Thursday night. Their their street, yeah, whatever they. they I haven't. I haven't. Boy, I, I haven't even. Oh come on, that. Brad! You're gonna have to fill oh, him in. Oh, Bob Brad, doesn't even know what's going on. Not See, Brad's I took, be on me on that one. I took myself out of the picture because I don't have to go. Yeah, true, true that. As they say, true that. But uh, no, it's it's always enjoyment to go out to Indianapolis because we do get to meet some people. 
especially on the MSA side of the world that, that we may talk to on the phone or um, Eric Sargent's boss, Stu Becker's boss, Steve Earl's boss, Chris Mulker's boss. Um, we usually get to meet them and to have a few chats with them uh, on Wednesday when the distributors are all there. Uh, so so it's exciting to do that and, and meet with those folks uh, and get to chat with those folks. Uh, and most of, you, most of our customers don't see uh, the manufacturing side of the world because they, they know our product specialists out there, whether it be Neil Staple Camp or Chris Rich or, or any one of the aboves of Block geez, party. How many? Thursday from 7 to 10 on Georgia Street, Bob. I'll help assuming, you out. Th thanks, honey. So if you're going to be in Indianapolis Thursday evening down at George Street, the Georgia probably, Street. Georgia Street, that's probably the one that they've had blocked off forever for MSA's block party. Um, soda, beer, snacks. They had pizza there a couple of years last year. That was last year. Yeah. So um, come join us. Uh, you can call me, text me, um, if I can hear my phone. Um, or, oh, I guess you got to – the only reason I got an iPhone was I could photo – what do they call it? Airdrop. Airdrop photos. Uh, so airdrop things to me. I don't know. Um, you got to be close to works. airdrop. I don't know how that all works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, who's going to be – give Bob lessons IT in, work. in, in <laughs> IT iPhone work. 101? I'm not sure if anybody want to do that. So, but uh, yeah, but it's good. It's it's a again a great time out in Indianapolis. If your fire department uh, is is looking for equipment or an apparatus, um, that's the place to be and, and really see what's coming in the industry. What's what's new? Um, where you should be going is, is Indianapolis, and we're blessed. It's it's uh oh now she's moving the, <laughs> moving the laptop so it's back to just Bob and she'll comment from the cheap seats. <laughs> So, um, but go go out there, send your people out there. Uh, from us here, it's six hours, roughly, uh, give or give or take five hours. Um, give so or take five hours. Give or take five hours. <laughs> Bob driving or somebody else yeah, driving. Whatever. That's that's I always say that my my driving rate rate or record. I don't have a record, do I? I probably do. Uh -huh. There's probably people out there looking for me. But um, no, it's, it is a place to to go out to Indianapolis and and see what's coming in the fire industry. So it's a good thing, it's a good thing. And if most of you people have my number, um, if you don't, it's 563-212-4085. Figure out where I'm at. Now, now the world has it. Well, I think I got 24, 2,500 contacts in my phone anyway. So what's well, another thousand? But um, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, don't be afraid to reach out and see where I'm at, see what we're up to. We're going to probably send a couple people back on Friday, and then everybody else probably leaves Saturday morning, Saturday midday, mid morning, um, out of the chaos before everything starts to shut down. Um, back one, one quick last call out to the Charlotte bunch and the other five departments in selling the raffle tickets for the ATV ride. If you want a raffle ticket, it's one for twenty or six for a hundred dollars. So if you're interested, uh, give somebody on Charlotte Fire, DeWitt Fire, Lomore Fire, Comanche Fire, Andover, and Goose Lake Fire. Give one of those folks a shout, they'll get you a raffle ticket. If you watch this video and you'd like to have a raffle ticket out on the western side of Nebraska, uh, reach out to me either by email, bob at sandryfire.com, the Sandry Fire Facebook page, Bob's Facebook page, my cell phone. Um, any extra proceeds are going to go to uh, split six ways to go to the fire departments. They're trying to raise enough money that each fire department can buy a set of bunker gear with the extra money. So, so looking forward to that support <clears throat> uh, with what the Charlotte folks are doing up there. It's great. With, uh, Cameron Costello, the fire chief up there, Chief Costello, uh, he, he likes that. Uh, it's kind of been fun. Cam, Cam's a good friend of mine. I, th I think Cam's a good friend. I probably should ask him before I say that. So, uh, but, <clears throat> but no, a lot of good things happening. A lot of good things at Sandry Fire. We just had everybody over, all our sales staff over here last, last week. week. Last week, gee, it doesn't. It seems like it was a couple weeks ago. Last week, all our all of our product specialists were down, and we had 
MSA in. We had Mako on a, on a video conference with those folks to learn a little bit more about compressors. Um, all right, what else did we do? We had Tincati in uh, talking about materials for turnout gear. So it, it's, it seems to be know, productive. Yeah, she wasn't even involved. And I had a demo to do over by Rockford so on Tuesday night. So uh, Northern Boone, thank you for your order of TNT rescue tools, battery operated storm surge rescue tools. Um, appreciate that. Appreciate the opportunity to keep you in TNT and put you in a product that has a forever warranty. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. The other big news out there right now is the weather that's happening coming up through the Mississippi. Um, into Iowa, Missouri. Um, be safe out there. Be careful out there. Friday was a little hairy around the Clinton County area. Um, Grand Mount had a couple houses uh, that were hit by the tornado that uh, we went over and supported those guys and helped those folks uh, get individuals out of houses that were damaged or collapsed from, from the tornado. Uh, Charlotte had a, quite a few events going on up there. Big LP cylinder that was... Um, Leaking off had Davenport Hazmat up there. They do a great job for our Clinton County up here. So thank you to Davenport Hazmat, those folks. Uh, it's it's great to have you on on call all the time. And Ron Burchett down there that coordinates some of that, I believe. Still, he's I think he's talking retirement. I probably shouldn't put the cat out of the bag, but uh, super super great guy down there with Ron. So anybody, I guess, I guess I should look to see if anybody has any questions for Bob. Um, I don't see a lot of. Anything on Bob? Don Oswald. Yep, lost my mustache again. Uh, the boss lady said I had, I had to shave it. It was a must. Stop blaming me. <laughs> Stop blaming her, she says. So, um, but no. So, I think we're going to keep it short and sweet. I say that okay. short and sweet. I don't know what it's at. 20 minutes in already. doesn't take long. But uh, we're going to try and coordinate better Bob Talks. Um, Brad was going to do this one tonight and talk a little bit about FDIC and what was going to go on at FDIC as far as our people being out there. If somebody, if one of your product specialists is going to be out there, give them a call. Or if one of them close to theirs, all of our team, um, just get information to them that they can look for stuff for your department uh, or bring back some things for your department. Uh, we got a good, we actually actually have a great group of people. Um, it, it's been pretty good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. So we'll uh, go with that. Uh, I believe the boss lady has a class tonight in a half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever that is. So she's going to be getting on on her class. So hopefully the weather holds out and not shoot her short. But uh, thank, thanks, everybody, for continuing to watch Bob Talk. I think we're going to coordinate a little bit better maybe next month and have a product on, whether we kind of kicked around, maybe have one of our service guys on. One of our newest one. We'll see where Luke Lucan is. Luke in. Um, see where he's at. He's out in western Nebraska, and covers about two thirds of Nebraska. Um, does a does an awesome job. See if we can get him on in the next couple months here. Uh, talk about getting maybe getting Elkhart on here with Dean Hutt and uh, talk about nozzles and and things like that as we did a while back with Joey from Key Hose came on and talked about hose and how much hose is different from a 50 psi nozzle to a 75 to 100 psi nozzle so we're going to try and do some things with products here in the next few months um and and have some good bob talks we, we've always had had some good bob talks but sometimes i get on and we just start talking so with that i'm going to sign off and let the boss lady start her class here shortly so if anybody's got any questions concerns comments for bob and bob talk please send a message either to sandry fire facebook page uh, Bob Sandry's Facebook page, my email, bob at sandryfire.com, or even my phone number, 563-212-4085. My half a million people that have my number, which is fine. Uh, that don't bother me. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to have a, try and have a quiet evening. Headed to central Illinois to do a tool demo tomorrow night. And then uh, who knows what Easter weekends. Be safe traveling Easter weekends for the families out there that are going to travel and uh, enjoy the family time together at Easter. Uh, so be safe out there be careful the storms in this area be careful tonight and we will see everybody in may with bob talk and we'll see what we can come up with product or or a, a service guy on with us so thanks again everybody for joining in on bob talk and seeing what bob's up to 
and I was on tonight, so the girls got off the hook and Brad got off the hook, and, and we'll see what May brings us. So thank you much. If I don't see you, or I hope to see you at FDIC, if I don't see you at FDIC, I'll see you on Bob Talk in May. Thanks, everybody. Be safe out there.